Welcome, child. I have been chosen this day to deliver unto you the tech news. And you shall be exalted! Multiple reports have emerged claiming that gamers' RTX 3090 graphics cards are being bricked while trying to launch the closed beta for New World, an MMORPG being developed by Amazon Games. Wow, Jeff problem. Bezos. Thanks. The dozens of people with 3090s. It's still unclear what the exact cause is, but it appears to have something to do with the lack of a frame rate limiter in the game's menus, causing said 3090s to just uh, to, uh, make as many frames as they can and just oh, mm, do it. a brick. And 3090s are incredibly hard workers with absolutely no regard for their own well being, like Linus. Uh, <laughs> It's also very likely that part of the answer here is an issue in NVIDIA's drivers or firmware. For now, if you are playing New World, make sure you've enabled the FPS limiter, unless you're looking to buy more graphics cards to help fund Jeff's next trip to space. He needs our help. That kind of implies that you're buying graphics cards from Jeff Bezos. Is he a scalper? Amazon's just one big scalping scheme, isn't it? The world's youngest Bitcoin billionaire, Eric Finman, made waves when he announced the Freedom Phone last week, a $500 device meant to push back against big tech censorship. But the tech savvy pointed out that the phone appears to be at least a little scammy, like Bitcoin. <laughs> I'm still holding. The, the phone's supposedly custom operating system, Freedom OS, appears to be Lineage OS, a common fork of Android. And the phone itself is identical to the UmiDigi A9 Pro, a Chinese Android phone for 180 bucks on Amazon. Best of all, the Freedom Phone's uncensorable app store that claims to not ban apps at all, even like malware, it's fun. is actually the Aurora Store, an open source client for the Google Play Store. I mean, hey, you absolutely have the freedom to get the Freedom Phone. Making bad choices is part of growing up. Becoming an adult, you know, killing people accidentally, it happens. And leaked data has led to multiple reports revealing that Pegasus, a piece of spyware intended to help governments track terrorists and serious criminals like Riley, ah has been used by various regimes for surveillance of journalists, activists, and human rights lawyers. Pegasus can access all data on fully patched iPhones and Android devices, according to its developer, the Israeli-based NSO group. NSO claims it will cut off clients if they misuse Pegasus, but who watches the watchers? So far, they deny that evidence of misuse exists in the leaked records, which lists Pakistan's prime minister and the French and Iraqi presidents as victims. They're probably doing bad stuff. Macron, eating Macrons all day. Too many. Amnesty International, which helped publish the data, has released a toolkit that can determine if your phone has been infected with Pegasus. But just to be safe, we changed our minds. You, you should get a freedom phone. Freedom isn't free, baby. Mm. Now it's time for the Quick Bits, brought to you by Drop's huge summer sale, featuring their PC38X gaming headset built in collaboration with Sennheiser. You can get up to 21% off the PC38X, the PC37X, or the HE4XX for upgraded audio and mic quality in-game, as well as Drop's Control, Alt, and Alt High Profile keyboards, which feature hot swappable switches and double shot PBT key caps. Act fast, because this sale is hotter than a Northwestern heat dome. We just hated that you didn't have AC, and it ends on July 31st. So check out Drop Sale at the link below. I'm still thinking about those temps. <laughs> you know what's even hotter than those temps? The quick bits! Oh. Blue Origin successfully launched its first crewed flight yesterday, carrying Jeffrey Bezos and his companions to the edge of space. Jeff thanked every Amazon employee, even the ones who pee in bottles, and customer because they paid for this, which I'm sure just gave all of us a real warm feeling. Yeah, that's what I want. We, we did. But if you're mad at Jeff for spending money on a romp into space, he gave $200 million to charity when he landed. So everything's fine. Yeah, it evens out, I think. He that's donated a billion to climate change. Yeah, that's probably enough. Just wash the problem away. <laughs> Don't actually do anything. A leaked benchmark of Intel's Alder Lake 12900K shows the CPU beating an AMD Ryzen 9 5950X by 18% in a multi-core test and by 28% in a single core test. I'm not a mathematician, but if these numbers are accurate, then it seems like the blue chip could beat the red chip by the percentages I just said, or the inverse of them. 100 minus, yes. no. See, no, I'm not a mathematician. Even get this right. <laughs> Days before Nvidia demoed an RTX 3060 GPU playing games on an ARM-based system running Linux, a computer scientist named Rene Rebe 
That, that would be hard to type. Patch the AMD GPU driver in Linux to support a Radeon RX 6700 XT on RISC V systems, which includes systems with ARM processors. There it is. So what am I reading? We are rapidly approaching a world of ARM-based desktop PCs with full graphics cards, and honestly, I don't know if I'm ready for this. JK, give me those chips, boy. Give me them. Let's go. Chew them up. I drink it up. Microsoft has backed off its initial claim that the performance-enhancing Direct Storage API would only be available on Windows 11. A recent blog post says it's compatible with Windows 10, which is great news for change-avoiding types everywhere. What do you mean, try new food? Salami sandwiches have a perfect nutritional profile, and avocados are spicy anyway. Especially if you dip them in mayonnaise, there's eggs in there. Olives? That's for those Italians. <laughs> Wait, Salami 2? No! And Ubisoft has made another free-to-play shooter that no one wants. It's called X Defiant or Z Defiant or X D Defiant because Ubisoft cared so little about what people thought about this that they let an AI, uh, like an automatic name generator, just. Z shooter, man. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they like Intel. The game is like a hero shooter with characters from Ubisoft shooter games, and I'm bored already, so we're done. What do you mean? That sounds like Smash Bros. of. Sh yeah, but okay. it's, it's the Smash Bros. of. Dumb. Okay, we're gone. And we're, oh, we're, apparently, we're done with this episode, so come back on Friday for more tech news. Please. It'd be so great if you did that. Please. 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 Come back. Bye. Okay.